Hey everybody, Larry Lawton here. Do I have a great review for you today? Pulp Fiction. One of the great scenes in Pulp Fiction is a robbery. And of course I have to highlight that robbery because I can't say I haven't thought about the exact same robbery. So I thought I would get right to this great review. This is a scene in Pulp Fiction. Let me, let me give you a little bit of background of Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction which came out in 1994 is a Quentin Tarantino. And if you know anything about Quentin Tarantino, he has some violent ass movies, man. I'm telling you, they're pretty wild. And I thought I would do this one because I love the movie. A lot of you guys asked about Pulp Fiction. And this scene, this robbery scene, although it's not the most brutal one in the movie at all, obviously it's a very gory movie, a lot of killings, a lot of crazy, crazy shit in Pulp Fiction. But this scene is the one where these two people try to rob a diner with uh, Samuel Jackson Travolta in it. And uh, it's really a good scene, but you know, even the movie itself, you know, I, I did some research on the movie just to find this out. I did not know this, but Pulp Fiction in 2013 was uh, actually secured as one of these, like an artifact for the Library of Congress in the registry for films. It's one of the best movies. Some critics consider it the best movie ever. It's kind of a dark movie. It's kind of hard to figure out because it goes all over the place. I couldn't believe they listed it as like a dark comedy. Uh, I didn't get any funny shit out of it. I mean, it had some funny lines, but man, I didn't get where it was a funny movie. Not at all that I see that part of it. But what do I know? I'm just here uh, watching the movie. So, uh, and I watched the movie again. I love Pulp Fiction. You know, the violence... Doesn't bother me, violence. I know people crazy uh, think that in movies, you know, it, it just doesn't bother me. Uh, maybe is that just my makeup or not. So we're gonna get into this scene. Let me set the scene up. The scene is the restaurant robbery. These two people wanna rob a restaurant and here's they go about doing it. I'm the kind of, like, kind of, you know, critique their robbery. Let's see what happens here. Everybody be cool, this is a robbery! They jump up like Bonnie and Clyde, obviously, and the guy says, this is a robbery. Now, first of all, if you're going to do something like and then the girl pops up like a nut. She's a total nut. Yeah, I'll kill you, motherfuckers, and all this shit. It's kind of, she's crazy. Bonnie and Clyde, it's the first thing I thought of. Anyway, in this movie, if you're going to really rob a restaurant like this, or, or you know, it could be a high-end restaurant. I'd, I'd do a high-end restaurant where there's more money than a diner, especially a diner where people are coming and going so quick. It had been a restaurant, but they did what they did. But wouldn't you put one person on one side of the place and another person on the other side? This way, when you both jump up, if anybody had a gun or anybody was a cop or try to make a call. Back then, 94, when this movie came out, I'm assuming they didn't have uh, cell phones like they did, uh, he, you know, in a regular day today. But even then, even back then, what about someone sneaking out, calling the cops, doing certain things? I would have two people jump up at the same time from different parts of the restaurant. <laughs> Just take whatever you want. Now you talk to the customers. Yeah. You tell them to be fucking cool. Yeah. Okay, he's telling them you have to talk to the customers to be cool. I don't think you have to tell anybody to be cool. They know, they heard, they know what to do. You don't need some fucking diner owner to say, be cool, everybody listen to him. Obviously everybody is, they got guns in their hands. Let everything be over. Yeah. You understand me? Yes. I didn't have to tell the jewelry owner, hey, tell everyone to be cool in the store. People knew it was a robbery, it was a robbery. Listen, everybody, be calm. Another thing, look at the plate windows around the whole place. And I know I'm being critical, but just this is my thinking as a criminal. People would be able to see in and they would see that there's a robbery going on, people holding guns all around. So you, you, you can rob a place that doesn't have plate glass windows like that too. Cooperate, and this will all be over in a minute. Fuck that! Well done. That's a funny scene. Tra Travolta's in taking a shit, reading a book in a, in a diner. I don't know if I ever did that. 
rest stops. I did not know also, this, this movie had, in the 67th Academy Awards, just going back looking at stuff, it was nominated for, I think, seven Academy Awards from Best Picture, Best Act, Actress. And Travolta, Jackson, and Uma Thurman also got nominated for Best uh, Actress, Actress, and Best Actors. And it really helped their careers a lot. All right, now, people! I'm gonna come around and collect your wallets! You don't fucking talk! You just throw them in a bag! Are we clear? I said, are we fucking clear? You don't think anybody would be seeing these people from the other side? Uh oh. There's Samuel Jackson. He's got his gun. He's ready. I love how cool he is. I love all his movies. Samuel Jackson is one of the great actors to me. I love that guy. Travolta, too. Tidy up, tidy up. That's it. Now get the fuck down on the floor. In the bag. The girl is the loose cannon. In the bag. Samuel L. Jackson is so cool. He really is. Just I, I, back then, I even loved his hairstyle. Everything. What's in the case? My boss's dirty laundry. The boss makes you do his laundry when he wants it clean. Sounds like a shit job. Funny, I was thinking the same thing. Open it. Brady can't do that. I didn't hear you. Yes, you did. What's going on? Looks like we got a vigilante in our midst. Shoot him in the face. You hear what that lady just said? Looks like we got a va vigilante in our mix, and the lady says, shoot him in the face. She's a tough, crazy bitch, that one. But, it, again, it's a movie. But, what great acting in this movie. I hate to shatter your ego, but this ain't the first time I've had a gun pointed at me. You don't take your fucking end off that case, it'll be your last. Stop causing problems! You'll get us all killed! Give him what you got and get him out of here! Shut the fuck up, fat man! This ain't none of your goddamn business. I love him. Shut up, fat man. This is none of your business. He is just so cool, and obviously the the, the acting in this and the part is just great. I, I know I'm saying it, but it's a great. Just I love this movie. Be cool, honey bunny. Be cool. No problem. I honey you. bunny calls her. Now I'm gonna count to three. If you don't open that case, I'm gonna unload in your fucking face. God damn it, what is it? Yeah, 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 no! Yeah, 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 Look no! It. Let go! He was quick. The guy looked, he looked what was in the briefcase, and look what he did. He went crazy. And tell me that wasn't a good move. And look at the crazy bitch. She jumped up on everything. I just love this. I mean, would you ever get that close to somebody where they can do that? Obviously not. Nobody would. You know, listen to me. I'm a pretty big guy. If you got close enough where I can grab you, I, I, you're gonna be in trouble. Stay far enough away if you have to shoot me, you shoot me. I mean, think about that. You can shoot me, shoot me. Do whatever you wanna do. But, obviously, I, I mean, that's just being stupid. Let go! Let go of it! Tell that be cool! Go. I'm gonna kill you! Be cool! Be cool, honey! That bitch screaming so much, I think I'd shoot her. I mean, just, oh my god. Tell that fucking bitch to chill! Be cool, honey! Chill that fucking bitch out! Chill out, honey! Chill out, honey bunny. I love that. Honey bunny. Talk about a Robin, uh, Bonnie and Clyde duo. We're not gonna do anything stupid, are we? Don't you hurt him. Nobody's gonna hurt anybody. We're all gonna be like three little Fonzies here. And what's Fonzie like? Come on, Yolanda, what's Fonzie like? Fonzie's, what's Fonzie like? Cool. Correct the mundo. And that's what we're gonna be. Okay, now you let him go. Yolanda, I thought you were gonna be cool. Now, when you yell at me, it makes me nervous. And when I get nervous, I get scared. And when motherfuckers get scared, that's when motherfuckers accidentally get shot. You know, talk about robberies. What do you think is going through their heads? The two robbers, the ones who had control of the situation and don't have it anymore. You know, as I tell people, you know, controlling the situation in a robbery is the most important thing you can do. I mean, these people gotta be lost. Obviously, they're probably just junkies robbing a stupid thing like this, but they're still criminals and they had a plan. But I can't give you this case, because it don't belong to me. Besides, I've been through too much shit over this case this morning to just hand it over to your dumb ass. Be cool! Yolanda, it's cool, baby! And Travolta comes out. They got the, the this one, they got one gun against two. If they want to take this girl out, they can do that in two seconds, obviously. And these motherfuckers are 
killers. You saw some of the scenes. And if you haven't seen Pulp Fiction, besides this scene, you got to go see this movie. It's a classic. It's kind of violent, though. But it's a classic, classic movie. It's cool. We still just talking. Come on, point the gun at me. Point the gun at me. There you go. And Vincent, you just hang back and don't do a goddamn thing. Tell him we're still cool. Still cool, honey bunny. How we doing, baby? I, I gotta go pee. <laughs> Tell me that wasn't a great line. How you doing, baby? I gotta go pee. <laughs> Trust me, man, some shit goes crazy. I never had that issue, or none of my crew did, but I've heard it and I've seen it, and people shit their pants or wet their pants, and it is true. I want you to go in that bag and find my wallet. What is it? It's the one that says bad motherfucker. It's gotta go in the bag and get the wallet. Of course you gotta get that. Now, with all of this going on, do you think someone near a door is not gonna bolt? You don't think somebody's gonna do something? How do you know nobody else had a gun? Obviously. But even that, nobody's watching anybody, nobody's going anyone, who knows? Now, Travolta and Jackson, you know, they're, they're living on the wild side anyway. These two clowns are just idiot thieves. But this, this could have went bad. And look at the windows again. The windows are wide open. Somebody's got to see what's going on. Girls standing on a counter with a gun like this. Come on. That's it. Bad motherfucker. That's bad mother. You like that wallet? Open it up. Take out the money. Count it. He's gotta be thinking he's gonna die. Guy tells him to take out his money. Now, I ain't giving it to him, Vincent. I'm buying something for my money. You wanna know what I'm buying, Ringo? What? Your life. I'm giving you that money so I don't have to kill your ass. You read the Bible, Ringo? You know, it, it, it's, it's amazing how he, he now is gonna go into quoting a Bible. I'm gonna go into it in a minute. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who in the name of charity and goodwill shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness, for he is truly his brother's keeper and a finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers, and you will know I am the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon you. He just quoted the Bible. It's funny because even myself, I remembered passages, Matthew 16, 26. What does a man have if he gains the whole world but loses his soul? Think about that one. That's a lot of criminals. I also did other uh, passages that I, I can't go into right now. But it's amazing because usually people who can remember that kind of stuff were in prison. A lot of people went to prison have to read the Bible because when I was in the hole, all I got was a Bible or a Quran or a Torah or spiritual books from Buddhism. And I used to get those books and read them while I was in the hole. And I'd read them multiple times. I read the Bible five times cover to cover as a book. So when I learned how much violence is in the Bible, how King David killed 5,000 people, killed his best friend, bedded his best friend's uh, wife and all that. Anyway, just showing this is, this is what made this whole entire scene and everything so cool. I mean, it just, it hooked me. Maybe it means you're the evil man and I'm the righteous man. And Mr. Nine Millimeter here, he's the shepherd protecting my righteous ass in the Valley of Darkness. How does a criminal think? I'm the shepherd, you're the evil one. The Nine Millimeter is the righteous, I mean, it's fucking brilliant. Quentin Tarantino is brilliant. He wrote this. The truth is, you're the weak, and I am the tyranny of evil men. Boy, is that such a great line. You're the weak. I'm tyranny. If that doesn't blow you away, it's a great fucking line or great. I mean, the way he did this, this Pulp Fiction is just, I don't know. Once I got to watch it, I got this scene. I kept thinking about a robbery like this. I kept thinking that, obviously I'm not gonna do a robbery, but I, you know, you think of how it can be done, what was a good scene. The scene and the acting is just some of the best in the history of, of, of all movies, really is. 
I mean, when Travolta does the thing and all, but that's not this scene. I mean, let's that's, that's, that's end this scene. Go. They let him go. Look at the people still there. They let him go. Both of them go. Obviously, in Pulp Fiction, you see how many people they kill when they go into the house when the guy with the uh, stole something and then actually when Travolta gets killed. The killing and the, the way this whole entire movie was made was great when they were in the apartment with the three young guys and, and how Samuel L. Jackson. The one thing about those scenes, which I, I'm not showing here, is I always worried about the noise. Like this scene, here they are, these two people in a diner with the window showing. I mean, would you really pick a diner like that to rob? I don't know. I really don't think you would. I mean, at least I wouldn't. As a criminal who used to case stores and a guy who used to really put a lot of thought into robberies, I was that kind of guy that says, wait a minute, what's the best way out? What happens if there's a cop in here? Who's going to cover what exit? Uh, a lot of different things would go with the getaway. What happens if a cop come this side? Would we get out the back side? I mean, obviously, that's what I why I was a, a master criminal. But you know what? I got caught. You know, somebody said to me on one of the things, ah, he's just a criminal. And a point to that, they're right. I know I'm not, I'm not just a criminal. I was a master criminal. I was very successful for a long time. But truth be told, I was just a criminal. And is it right for me to, to do what I'm doing? You know, I had to get over that and I tell everybody that already. Uh, I'm okay with who I am. Uh, I think I do enough good today and I try to do good. And anybody who thinks that's bullshit doesn't know me. Uh, I just want to do good. Uh, it's part of who I am today. I want to think, get things right. And I want, maybe it's my way of, I guess, making amends for all the hurt I put on people. And again, although I didn't hurt anybody, wasn't in my business, although I didn't hurt anybody ever in a robbery, I did put fear into them and I did scare them. And that's a hurt and that's not right. So if you're thinking about some, sometimes you got to think about the, the, the uh, victim. And I do think about victims a lot. That's just the way I am now. I do think about victims. So don't ever forget that. Make sure of that as well. Uh, have a great day, everybody. I uh, love this movie. If you haven't seen Pulp Fiction, <laughs> if you haven't seen Pulp Fiction, I don't know how old you are, but if you're, if you're over 20, you probably saw Pulp Fiction. If not, go watch Pulp Fiction. Have a great day, everybody. I love the reviews. Keep the comments coming. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please pass on these videos. We're onward and upward. We're keeping going. Have a great day, everybody. Much love, much respect.